Christmas today. Does he do junkets? Um, yeah, once in a while. Stand you know, see him. But I've known him since he was a kid. I know his brother. Oh, really? Well, Leonard Lyons, his dad, was one of the great columnist writers around. His dad was for years. Well, you grew up, well, you, you went to school in the East to Choate, right? I did. Yeah, I went to Choate, and then went to elementary school in New York City. Okay, because a friend, um, Schwarzenbach, went to school with you, his last name. You probably yeah. made, his name was Toby. Toby. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You do? He's a little younger than me, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's go on with, uh, we'll start with, uh, what drew you to this? Always script, um, just a really good piece of material based upon a, a good book by Michael Cabone and a chance to play a different role. I mean, you look one day and you go, man, that perfect murder in the game are pretty dark and it was a prince of darkness and wouldn't it be nice to have a little levity in your life? And then I saw this and thought old Grady Tripp was a character I had not really done. And then uh, Curtis Hansen, who I'm such a fan of and always wanted to work with, came close a while ago. And he too, I think, you know, after doing L.A. Confidential, in you know, the Hand of the Rocks, the Cradle River Run, was trying to show that he could do, you know, some comedy too. And I think he's got a very dry wit. This this movie was great because it didn't hit you over the head mm. um, with with the comedy. It was just realistic. He, I think, that's all the. That's all the advantage of, of filming on a location, in this case Pittsburgh, three weeks of rehearsal where everybody kind of just settles down and you don't try. I mean, the hard thing about comedy, particularly for, if you're not a comedian, is, da -da -da -da, is you want to, you know, is that little extra effort you want to make as you're waiting to kind of hear a laugh. And this thing needed to kind of unfold. And then this kind of, you know, I think the stoned stupor haze that Grady, Grady Tripp is in all the time as a chronic pot smoker it kind of helps create this kind of cacophony of, you know, of, of, of craziness that's going on on this wild weekend. I like one of the things I read about this movie before I saw it. It's a coming-of-age movie for both you at 50, right. the character, character at 50. Yeah, it is. It, 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 it's, it's, a, uh, it's a cute sense of that. It's, it's about making choices. You know, some people let their life kind of just unfold uh, without ever having to make a choice. And this weekend kind of makes, Grady has to make some choices. I want to ask you about your website. Mm -hmm. This is a little, uh, I found it looking at the Paramount site. Right. What, what prompted you to start a website? What prompted me to start a website was to counteract um, a lot of the tabloid press, which not only do I resent, but they don't even compensate for you for it. So they basically sneak around stealing information, selling stuff about you, your life, without giving you anything. So I saw an opportunity to create a non-profit uh, website where my fan club would include a lot of information about my private life, include photographs that the, the tabloids maybe would like to have, but would be a way that you could pay to join the fan club and I can give the money to, to charity. And also some spin control. I think Catherine and I have both have been a little stunned about this incessant amount of attention uh, that's caused when two actors, celebrities get to get together, and and to push the issues that are important for me, uh, predominantly uh, disarmament. Okay. Did you wrap us? Yes. Well, I can see that twirl in the 